The log project started in June 2016. It came about from frustration. Um, frustration over leaking waders. And we asked ourselves, why can't anyone make waders you can trust anymore? And this question stuck in our heads and, and, and after a while we finally decided that if no one else is doing anything new uh, or willing to make a wager that, that we wanted, uh, let's see if we can make one ourselves. We wanted to see if we could develop a wager that would have a great fit, that would keep you dry, warm and comfortable longer than any other wager out there. We soon realized that we had to look at this differently because more of the same solutions and materials was clearly not the way forward. So from the start, we decided that if we were to do this, we should do it properly, uh, 100%. We didn't care about production costs. We didn't have any business plan. There were no pie charts or swap analyses. We just wanted to make the best way that we possibly could. So we decided to use the best materials and components that we could find. And we spent lots of time sourcing materials from producers in France, uh, England, Germany, uh, and a few other countries. And it really was 100% or nothing. We strongly believe that buying less stuff of higher quality is the right way to go. Uh, it's not just fair play to the customer. Uh, it's also one of the most powerful ways in helping our planet get back in shape. So buy less, buy stuff you need, not stuff that you want because it's cheap, because it's Black Friday cheap. Uh, buy stuff you can repair and reuse over and over and over again. Um, it just makes sense. In our minds, membranes are by far the weakest link in ordinary waders. This is where the major problems are. Um, and they're, they're simply too weak to uh, withstand you know, the abuse and use uh, that waders are subject to. So we decided to break away from the mold and not use breathable membranes in our waders. Not to use breathable membranes, put us on a blank page really, because uh, now we have to find a way to deal with sweat and condensation. Um, so the big question mark was how could we make a wader that didn't breathe, keep us dry and comfortable throughout the day. This took a lot of time to come to a to a great solution, but we finally found one. And we went off and made our first prototype. Uh, uh, and this first prototype was just to see if, if our ideas would work. And, and it really did, um, and way better than we anticipated. Our solution to the sweat and condensation challenge is a patented hydrophobic 3D mesh tech system, uh, which is attached inside the waders. The 3D mesh creates a constant air barrier between your body and the outer fabric. So it keeps you warm and dry, uh, sweat and condensation sticks to the inside of the outer fabric and it works in all kinds of conditions and temperatures. One of the questions that we get mostly is uh, how hot are they in the summer? And, and quite frankly, um, they're not hotter than any other way they're out there. In fact, maybe the opposite. Despite all the time and effort we have put in, in in developing our waders, all the hurdles that we have overcome, um, I think our biggest challenge is, is probably ahead of us. Because now we must earn the trust from the fly fishing community and, and because this is where the truth lies. This, we're not deciding if, if this journey is going to continue. Um, our fellow anglers are. And um, so they hold the truth. You have all the cards. I guess a final word to anyone trying our waders for the first time would be um, try to do it with an open mind because like with every bit of new thinking uh, you're jumping into a piece of the unknown here so our waders are different uh, and different for a reason. Um, they really are like no other. <laughs>